Hey, this is Mike. I'm here at Hyatt Buick and GMC in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and I am checking out a 2015 uh, Buick Encore. And uh, this is a neat little SUV. It gets really good gas mileage, and it's very roomy and well well designed on the inside. So um, take a look at it here. It has 18-inch aluminum wheels coated uh, aluminum alloy wheels that have like a classy look to it. This one is a metallic black. I'm going to have to go around this pillar here. So here's the front. You see it's got that classy Buick grille in the front. And you also have uh, projector headlights. Now I was unable to confirm this but I'm pretty sure that they are halogen powered projector headlights. You also have projector fog lights as well. And you've got some light bulbs there. Um, not seeing any LED accents on this particular vehicle. It has some cosmetic um, designs there on the hood, which is a, a Buick trademark, it seems. So let's go around on this side. And right now the vehicle is locked. And, um, Let's go ahead and get the key out because I want to show you something. It does have, there's the key here, it does have the, uh, the remote start. So the vehicle has to be locked, which you have to still have press this, and then you immediately press and hold the remote start button until it starts. Now I'm going to go ahead and unlock it. Unlock all the doors. So this is the inside of the passenger door and you've got like a, uh, I guess like a tan and black interior uh, or gray and black, it's hard to really tell. Uh, I think it's more gray or black, gray and black. And then you've got a kind of an ebony wood grain um, accent in that. And then you've got a couple pockets, there's one that looks like it's perfect for your cell phone and then there's a bottle holder and there's some uh, space to put stuff down there. It does have a power seat here on the passenger side. Uh, power down here for the lumbar support as well as moving up and back. But your tilt, the back, tilting the back of the seat is a manual adjustment. So then you got the two-tone aluminum, um, uh, leather, I'm sorry, um, seats here with the stitching. And you've got like a blue stitching on, on, on this side and then a white on that side, which is pretty neat. has a, a small glove compartment there and then there's a good size one down here and I like the way it has a little place to put your pen um, it's always good to keep your sword with you but look at that leg room got plenty of room there here's the inside of the back door it's very similar to the front, even though even that little pocket there for your cell phone has that as well. And you can see the, the depth uh, between the seat and the floor is pretty substantial. Um, that helps out with your leg room actually, because your so your knees won't be too high in the air while you're riding in the back, which I really um, enjoy that. This folds down and you got some cup holders there. And you do have a uh, Edison plug down here, basically a looks like a house plug um, for plugging in st uh, stuff like, say, charging your uh, cell phone or laptop, that kind of thing. It only it's only 150 watts, so it's not going to power like a hair dryer or anything like that. But um, you know, it does give you that ability to plug stuff in if you don't have an adapter, like a, uh, a car um, cigarette lighter type of adapter. Now here's the fuel door, you just push it and open it up, you can unscrew it and this little plastic uh, 
the string here goes over this little tab, and that way it keeps the uh, it keeps the cap from you know hitting against your vehicle and, and scratching your paint. It does have four wheel disc brakes all the way around. And this is a 1.4 liter uh, turbo, small turbo engine, which gets awesome gas mileage with a six speed automatic transmission. So here in the back, it does have the uh, backup camera. There's the lens there. So let's go ahead and open it up, check it out. It's got that privacy piece there to keep your stuff out of sight. And it's a pretty good amount of room back here. And these are the, these are some uh, slush mats right here. Highly recommend these on any vehicle. Um, it, you know, it's, it can contain spills, it makes your carpet last longer, it keeps it from getting, it kind of basically protects the inside of the, your inside. This is what it normally comes with, so um, I'd always recommend uh, when you buy a vehicle, especially a new one, ask for the uh, slush mats to go in it. Uh, this lifts up and you can see it's got a spare tire in there, and that's one thing you want to um, check on when you're buying a new vehicle. Not every vehicle has a spare tire anymore. Sometimes it's, it's, an, it's sold as an option, so just make sure that you're aware if it has a spare tire or not when you're negotiating um, with the dealer. So there's your some tie downs there. And that cargo area does have the ability to be expanded out. Um, using you know using this seat here and I want to show you a couple things real fast the the headrest has the ability to go in and out by this clever design go up and it goes in and you go down it goes out which is pretty cool but putting it all the way down and then you basically um, this little latch right here you push it down um, actually before I do that this one has this little tab here pick that up it lifts up the seat flips it over like so then you put this down and it folds down flat and that way it extends your cargo area substantially so let's open this back up so now if you've got um, picking up something from Lowe's or whatever and you need to have some more room uh, you can still have a passenger you can still have a backseat driver right there um, or you can fold that side down and, and have them on this side whichever but um, it does have the ability to have some flex space between the passenger and the cargo area close that down and to put it back you just simply just lift it up snap it in place just make sure your seatbelt is not um, tangled up in there and this um, same thing with the seatbelts the seatbelts kind of a two-handed job here but I'll show you what I'm talking about. Just make sure the seat belts are up, like so. And then that way you just push it down and snap it in place. All right, it has this little thing right here just telling you that it does have a blind spot type monitoring system to uh, uh, alert you if there's a vehicle in your blind spot. It has sensors on the side of the vehicle right here um, to let you know that they're there. Here's the driver's door, and um, there you've got some pockets there and there. You also have a little pocket here. Door lock controls are here. Uh, power windows for the front and back. You can lock them out if you wanted to. The rear doors. Uh, side mirrors are adjusted here. You just got to make sure you turn it to the side you want, and you can adjust it. This automatic headlights are right here. You've got a dimmer switch to the right of that. Now this is a power seat on this side, um, same deal though, it's got the, the, the reclining part is a separate control and you do have uh, some memory uh, functions there so you can save a certain um, uh, seating position. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and hop in and put the seat back a little bit because I did have it forward in order to demonstrate the, uh, the seat going down. Let me dig the key out of my pocket and switchblade it out and put it in. I did use the remote start, so I still have to put the key in the ignition. 
and turn everything on. So that way, um, you know, kind of starts everything up. This is a tilt and telescoping steering wheel so I can go up and down and this out. This vehicle is in demonstration mode. Connected by OnStar's high-speed 4G connection. Press the blue OnStar button to learn more. So you notice it dimmed down the fan. It lowered the fan speeds to uh, be able to uh, make it to where I can hear that a little bit better, that message. Um, so that's the same thing with the Bluetooth or any kind of uh, commands that it says. Um, any audio commands, it will uh, not only dim the radio, but also the fan, which I think is a pretty neat feature. So I'm going to go ahead and lower it myself a little bit, and I'm going to turn the radio down so we can hear the quietness of the vehicle. Alright, so here's the leather stitched steering wheel. It's very comfortable. It does give a little bit in your hand, so it does uh, avoid fatigue while you're on long trips. That was a good thickness. And um, on the left side, we've got the cruise control. You just make sure you turn it on and off there. You have a little indicator light that comes on to let you know it's on. And you can uh, cancel it on this side. And you can set it by going down. And you can accelerate or deaccelerate uh, doing that number. It's like a little toggle switch. Now on the right of the steering wheel, you do have a volume control for your radio, so I can turn the radio back up. I can turn it down. I can change to the stations. Um, actually, it's changed to the presets with this switch right here. And the presets can be an AM, FM, satellite radio, whatever you want to have them. Um, you can do that uh, however you want it. All right. and. Um, you also can push this in and change the source, like AM, FM, satellite radio. So that's pushing the button in instead of rolling it. These buttons here, uh, this is for your voice recognition, which also uh, is paired with your cell phone. So like say, uh, you have voice recognition and you have commands in there for your phone. So that's why it's the same button. So, um, so once you set, pair your cell phone with the Bluetooth system, you can make and receive calls using that button and um, so basically if you have somebody named Tom in your uh, your phone book you just push that button and say call Tom and it'll call him up you can talk to him and then when you're done you just hang up right here so as simple as that also if you're driving along and somebody calls you um, you can push this button to answer the call and hang up right here so it's a very good safety feature to keep your hands on the wheel eyes on the road um, really really enjoy that feature and I'm glad that manufacturers are including that on you know more and more cars all right so here is your gauges now you can see they're you know pretty bit basic easy to read and you got your uh, speedometer on that side your rpms on the left side coolant temperature and your uh, gas gauge now you'll notice um, just to to the right of the little fuel pump there it's got an arrow aiming to the right that's uh, indicating which side the fuel door door is on so if you're in any pretty much most vehicles have that little arrow there to kind of clue you in if you're not familiar with the vehicle um, which side the fuel door door is on all right so um, right here is a digital screen now, besides just giving you the digital speed, you can push this menu button that's on the turn signal here. Push the menu button and you can scroll through using this scroll wheel here. And you can get different information. Um, stuff that you might not always need to look at, but um, it's there in case you need to. So you can scroll through all that and it'll just go back to the same stuff. Push menu to kind of go back and then you can scroll back and uh, your trips are there, uh, your range, all that good stuff timer and um, and in speed so that's how you um, you know play with that menu now that's a completely separate menu system from the the, uh, the screen over here but um, you know I just want to show you how to use that because it's separate 
So here is this screen over here, and it's pretty far up, and um, it, it's not a touch screen, okay? So you can see if you touch it, nothing happens. So what you do is you use this right here, and so this little wheel, so I'm gonna kinda scroll through, and it shows you what you can do. You can choose a specific channel, like so. I can push that um, and enter that, uh, you know, enter that one. Let me scroll through here, actually. And I'm gonna actually go back out of that because I don't wanna change the station, I just wanna. All right, so now I'm in the home screen. I push the home screen. I can go over here. Um, let's go to next so now I just um, all I gotta do is push this knob in like so and uh, and then that goes to the next um, you know chooses whatever you have the little thing hovered on I don't know if you can see that but I'm gonna go to previous and push that um, previous and push that so you can kind of go through now the Pandora and the stitcher options will only be available once you pair a smartphone with the system but you can go into um, Let's go here, over here. Uh, the navigation, let me go into that, is right here. And that right now it's like in a 3D mode view and it looks pretty cool. And it's a little bit, I mean, it's, it looks better with, the, with your eyes than the camera. Um, and the camera doesn't look quite as bright and clear, but I can see it pretty clear, even though the screen is a little bit further away than some other touch screens. So like this camera is closer up to me now, and you see how far away it is, but it is pretty clear. Um, I, I can assume that maybe if the light was glaring on it or something, it might be a little bit less clear, but um, maybe if I zoom in, you can see. It looks pretty good, the colors are good. Uh, you can see it pretty, um, I think that's that kind of helps out. It kind of looks more like that, maybe a little bit brighter than that. But anyways, um, you can go into the menu there and you can hit it, you can put in a specific destination. Uh, there's tons of different things you can do. Um, change the, the map modes. You can see different traffic alerts, stuff like that. And you can always hit the home button here uh, to go back to this screen, which is your main icons. So down here, you've got your traction control button. You can turn that off if you want to. Four-way flashers are here. These buttons are your presets for your radio. Your volume is here. You can turn the sound system on or off using that. Uh, you can change to the stations or change through uh, CD tracks, which it does have a CD player here. And uh, source is like AM, FM, uh, stuff like that. Your navigation button is there. So you got some, you know, just some hot buttons there that you can go directly to some stuff. Uh, climate control is down here. You got your heated seats on your driver and passenger side. And you can adjust your temperature and um, your heated steering wheel, which that was, I think, I don't feel it turned on, but. Not sure if that was on or not, but anyways, um, that's there. And then you've got your fan speed. Like that. So that's all the, you know, pretty pretty basic and easy to understand and use uh, features. There's a place there um, to put some stuff, maybe your cell phone or something. And then you've got, you've got two things down here. Uh, and then when you open them up, one is a 12 volt power supply the other one is a USB and auxiliary input on the right side now if you can see that um, for playing music through the system you can also charge stuff with the USB now there's your shifter and uh, let me go ahead and put it in reverse so I want you to see the backup camera that shows up there and it has these lines that will move as I turn the steering wheel but it does have electric power steering, so it's really easy to move. Those lines will move and give you an estimated trajectory as you're backing up the vehicle. They are estimated, so um, just keep that in mind. You want to, you know, look at other, other, um, your other, like your mirrors and look behind you, that kind of stuff. And as you go down, there's neutral, there's drive, 
Now, um, it also has manual, so you can go down to that M, which stands for manual, and, um, and you notice these buttons here on the top. Those uh, allow you to change to the gear. So right now it says M1 there. So I'm gonna push it to M2, M3, and it's not gonna go, but so far out of range. Um, so, but as you're driving, um, it'll let you, you know, uh, adjust it, and you can manually shift the gears if you need to adjust, you know, need more control over the shift points uh, for some reason. There's the parking brake. It just lifts up, just like a kind of old-fashioned one. There, it's pretty easy to use. Cup holders are there. Is um, some more storage area. And I showed you that it has two, um, the two of the glove compartments. Your arm star button is up here on the rear view mirror. And uh, it, does an, it is an auto dim rear view mirror. I don't know if you can see that little thing right there. Uh, that is a light sensor. So when somebody's behind you with the bright lights, it will dim the rear view mirror in order to uh, keep, avoid from blinding you. So, uh, and then you got these lights up here individually or you can turn all the lights in the vehicle on with that now if you put it right in the center that's what up when you open up the door all the lights will come on or you can just turn that off completely and it does have a sunroof so this can slide back like that and um, so basically you can just tilt it up like so or you can open it up so you can get some fresh air. And if you want some less light in there, you can close it up. So let's take a look back here. All right, let's take a look under the hood. All right, there's a 1.4 liter EcoTech turbo charge engine it gets over I think 33 miles per gallon on the highway which is pretty amazing uh, considering you got so much room and, and comfort in this vehicle there's a little turbo down there All right, there you have it. There is the 2015 Buick Encore. It's a tiny, well, not too tiny, SUV, pretty small SUV that has lots of room and lots of features um, and good gas mileage. So anyways, if you have any questions or comments, if anything I missed or got wrong, please leave it in the comments. And I'd really appreciate it if you can help me out with my channel. Please support my channel uh, in order to so I can increase the quality and um, frequency of my videos. I'd really appreciate it. And if you can also share, like, subscribe the, to the channel, I'd really appreciate that. And thank you to Hyatt Buick GMC in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina for allowing me to check out this vehicle. And I'll thank you for watching. See you next time.